Welcome to Eva Online. I'm Major Freak. And what we're dealing with is I goofed up and left my drones behind for some uh, been a while since I played. I launched my drones before I warped. I, yeah. Uh, anyways, so if you lose your drones, don't have the right drones or something, and you're stuck in a situation where you have most of these will go the the response fleet will warp off as soon as it's destroyed but if regardless if you're in a situation where you need to get away and you're in this case have already left your drones behind or are going to leave your drones behind because it's an emergency and you need to get away this is how you do it so luckily i have a station i can align to which i will um so you'll bring that up, you go, uh oh, I need to get away. So you'll either bring up your, you know, your all warp away stuff, or for celestials, or that. And you just start aligning to it. So job's done. I'll warp in and get Loot, ill got gains. Lining. So I've finished lining. What I will do is I will make Seneche the squad leader of a new squad. Usually the best way to do it. Usually I do this beforehand, but I'm kind of lazy these days. Get the old DPS in its own squad. Oop. It's kind of lame, but oh, whatever. So I don't need you anymore, so you get the hell out of that. So we're aligned, and most everybody is taken off. There's only uh, the defense fleet left. But there's still crews who are pointing you. So what we'll do is we've already aligned and we're going to get our all my guys have the same uh, MJD spooling up time of 9.6 seconds so I'll do everybody but the squad leader first. So here we go. So we're all aligned and we'll stay aligned and moving once we come out. So as soon as this guy comes out I'll know I'll be able to warp squad warp and there we go as soon as I see that I go warp squad and we're all moving and we're gone and of course you can see the the crew is land oh, what the hell why why didn't I warp? That is so weird. I'll have to watch the video. Time to get back to Seneche quick. <laughs> Shit. I don't know why that happened. That's interesting, actually. I'll, I'll have to watch. And... Yeah. It's getting nasty. Yeah, they will pile a whole bunch of DPS on me. I've got damage control, so I might survive. Um, hello? What is wrong with... My goodness. Ah, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. I I'm sure if I watch it, it'll be like, oh, right, uh... Land reps, land reps, land reps. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> land reps, land reps.
shush. All right, let's try, let's try that again. <laughs> What do you know? My uh, cooldown time is almost up. That's perfect. <laughs> now, I, did I get my? Yeah, I got my hauler away. All right, where <laughs> where was I? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Okay, let's let's try this again. <laughs> so. Everybody in line. Alright. Here we go. And we're aligning. How's everybody's speed? Alright. Good. Let's try this again. Alright. So, F8, F8, and F8. And wait for the cooldown, wait for the cooldown, wait for the cooldown. Bam. Warp squad. Warp drive. Establishing, establishing, warping already, and. Whoops. And yeah, this see really sketchy. Yeah, this crew is gonna be real quick on getting point back on you by uh, my. Um, it's called star bursting. They'll warp out to four hundred and back on right on top of you. Yeah, I have no idea. I maybe. I was just, yeah, I have the dumb, cannot brain. There, done. And the rest of my guys are far, far away from these on grid still, so I get the uh, the reward. Yeah, with my drones, that's hilarious. And it'll usually take about 15 minutes before these suckers despawn, uh, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. But... Uh, yeah, especially with the um, the battleships, but there's no fob for them to dock at, so they'll, they'll just despawn. Uh, as you notice, the response fleet took off right away after the fob got destroyed. Um, but sometimes they'll stick around. It's it's weird, it's twitchy, but most of the times they'll they'll take off. Anyways, so let's get back to the action. Pick up my drones. Got my other guys. Warp drive active. Log off my alts. Got a backup PC and a laptop. Running the other. The other entities are running my alts. Or my alt alts. <laughs> Drones. What the? Uh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> um. So the zoom out so I don't get as a lot of so the defense fleet um, once the fob has been destroyed will not respect the 1500 kilometer 
um, no aggro zone. So let's deal with them right now, actually. Yeah, they're, they're quite ticked off, apparently. Yeah, um, let's get my uh, other drones out of there. They could be dying right now, but no, they're not being attacked. Yeah, as long as you have RR up, um, remote repping, uh, going on between battleships, they won't... They won't engage uh, anything that isn't. It's kind of interesting. Something to take be taking advantage of, for sure. Yeah, where are my curves? Because those are the ones that are ticking me off. Comedy of errors right now. All right, that's dealt with. Get my guys out of there. Handy hotkey F. Deal with these curves, and then it's just warp away. There's no point in really shooting these down. It's it's really not worth your time. Um, would you rather get? F it, this take took me 15 minutes to kill the fob. I'd rather get you know. Uh, how much is it? It's three times eight, which is two, almost a quarter million, you know? Would you rather do that in 15 minutes or tack on an additional crappy reward for these, right? Which probably take 15 minutes, so that's half an hour. So spend your 15 minutes wisely, get out of dodge. I usually kill the curs well before the fob's dead. And that way I can just warp off. No problem. But in certain cases, <laughs> it's very odd cases, things just don't go your way. And I think, right, right, there's a, oh, God, it's been a while. <laughs> the, even one auger will, like, watch, I'll focus fire on, I will focus fire on this guy. Let's bring up my tags here. So I'll focus fire on one, right? All my guys on one. Even one Arger will prevent the the courier from dying. Everybody on? Good. It's going quite fast, so every once in a while you've got to re-hit that F key just to make sure your drones are not wandering off elsewhere. Yeah, it's just, it will be kept alive. Um by one auger, so you got to take out the auger, who is almost not cooperating. All right. And if there was two augers, I'd bring back my uh, my rooks, which are specifically uh, designed to deal with augers. And since I'm RRing, it doesn't really matter. Um, they they typically won't typically won't target the rooks. Mostly, <laughs> no, 
closely. And since there's only one, it goes down quick. And then we'll take out the augers. And head on out. Yeah, my uh, my rooks are just there for backup. Um, I thought I'd need them a lot more. But then after a while, I realized I've got MJD. I really don't need to be concerned about getting off field. Um, but they're there just in case. There, there are odd situations where uh, I've even had one time I even had this P P um, griefer um, come in uh, and with no risk to him, you know, uh, wanted to bump my guys in trying to get me to die by splitting up my forces and not having RR. Um, so having Rooks there um, really, really helped. It made it a no-brainer. And he just gave up and went off for an easier target. <laughs> Let's get my drones on the curves and just get the hell out of there. I don't not interested, even for re revenge sake. Yeah, the Ashamus are really strong. Um, they were getting me down below 50% um, capacitor with the uh, FOB and the Kurs, uh nuding me, nuding and uh, nosing me, you know. So it was quite interesting. I have implants for that. I was wondering, should I really have had those implants? I mean, is this really necessary? But when you see your capacitor drop below 50%, when you've got all that cap on you, you're like, oh, yeah, I need those talismans. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it can get real dicey. Gamma. I click the next target so I can just hit F once it's destroyed. Oh, they decided to switch targets. Wonderful. Alright. Good old skilling spree. They really like shooting at Sinisha today. Oh right, I was remembered to reload. It's always awkward when you're in the midst of a fob fight and you decide to reload all your guns. It's like, oh, <laughs> whoops. Let's see if I can remember to recall my drones. I really like the fact you get a warning when you warp off, but I don't think I noticed it when I was warping to the fob. I, I wasn't recording at the time, so I won't be able to see how I screwed up. Everybody alone? There's, they never drop any loot. It's pointless. And the salvage is shite, even for the fog. That's it. Job done. Yeah, that's... It says it's estimated, but you get, you get about that um, reprocessing it. Uh, but the market for selling these has uh, been and gone years uh, uh, a while ago, <laughs> so it's it's much more worth it if you 
bring all these to uh, Market Hub and then reprocess them and then sell the minerals, get way more. Okay, that is done. Thanks for watching.